Yes then guys, how you doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel for another play of you. Jean Rickner Bellegarde. This guy was leaked ages ago and I was hoping he was going to come today and here he is. Potential Gwendozi replacement for myself and a really decent looking card. 84 and an 83 team to get him done. I believe that's about 40 to 50k roughly. Fodders all over the place at the moment. But 3 star, 3 star, not ideal. 5 for 8, I'm not complaining about the height and the work rates. Could play it as a CDM as well, of course. Lee Gun's pretty popular at the moment with recent winter wildcards. So a lot of love for this man, as a, as you can imagine. Now, attributes. Here, this basically is giving me Kante S vibes. Minus the defending stats not being super cracked. Pace is there. Going forward, he offers a little bit. He could chip in with goals, maybe. Don't rely on it too much. Passing stats, the essential ones, the short pass. Long pass and vision looking great. 96 balance. 93 agility yes please hopefully this man is going to be phenomenal to kind of you know just scan the whole midfield jockey with make interceptions be a nuisance to play against defensive stats have been boosted with the anchor chem style so have the strength and aggression no player trace but that is fine already looking at the card i think it's a w winter wildcard is slowly taking over my team by the way boys but do drop me a like if you're excited let me know what you think of belagade subscribe if you're new on the road to 9k subs now 10k is the big, big goal. You can help me get there by pressing that beautiful little red button down there, boys. Let's get into the Switch Out Qualifiers. Also, we've just had a base icon player pick released. I've done it. It's on my channel already. If you want to go check it out, if you do, I won't say who it is yet. All right? Go check it out quickly and come back to this video. But I've got Xavi. I'm a little bit disappointed about it. I'm not going to lie to you. Consider some of the cards you could have got. My three options were shocking, man. We had Czech, we had Xavi, and I can't even remember the other one because it was that bad. Uh, but I hope you do get something crazy if you do open it. But comment now, Jean. Balagard himself. Dribbling looks a little bit lively. He's got the power as well. Honestly, I reckon he's going to be a phenomenal card. No way. Mate, two minutes in. Two minutes in and we've already scored with the boy. Okay. We might have a demon on our hands. We might have a demon on our hands. Mate, that's a, that's a decent little start. Let's keep it going. Oh, he's so quick. He's so quick to jockey with, boys. I think the agility and the balance just help him so much in that department. Uh, it's going to be like Kante-esque, mate. Basically, a, a more tanky, quicker Kante. Mate, there's no way he's going to get a second in five minutes. What is this card, though? Ball carrying machine, making interceptions, doing it in style, already getting his debut goal. Bro, he's... He's still going. He's so quick, by the way. You can really see, like, the burst of acceleration on the card. Like, each touch he takes, he's gone. Like, it's hard for defenders to get their foot in and make the interception, uh, which is what you need in that midfield, man. Passing. A eh, little block from Brozovic, but, you know, I kind of rushed it. Balagada into Payet. Honestly, my team's transitioned quite a bit this year. Premier League dominant majority of the year. But now with all these new league gun cards, like, yeah, I just can't help myself, lads. I literally can't help myself. Payet being one of them. Scoring screen must have fun. 2 0 now. I love it. I love it. Oh, he's getting a little bit into the game now. Big save from Pope. Let's build that from the back then, boys. Bellegarde. Man, the myth, the legend in the middle of the park. He's playing as an out and out CDM in a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow, by the way. I think I forgot to mention that, boys. See that little bit of pace there? That's what I'm noticing. Like, as he turns, he's not the quickest at turning, but once he gets going, like that extra touch, he sells the defender a dream and nobody's catching him. I was going to say, mate, this car might just be too good to be true for the price as well. 40k, brilliant links. Like, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. Get it to the boy. I'm just going to use and abuse this, man. Let's get it to him as much as possible in this game. Payet, Balagard, big touches there. Big interception again, but can't get the rub of the green. I'm just kind of controlling him in the middle of the park and like just jockeying with the man. Like, he's so quick to turn. Chop and turn. I um, probably should focus up, though. I don't really want to concede here. Uh, well done, the AI defender doing his job for me. Bellegarde now. I'm also shocked at his, uh, his attacking contribution so far. Like He's getting involved. He's making runs, doing well, keeping hold of the ball. Of course, the dribbling is cracked. Uh, and he's even got the goal. So I'm a broken record, mate. Basically, this card's awesome, lads, and I'm loving it. Oh, no, he's got one back. Di Natale on the score sheet. Not an ideal situation to be in. Interception number one for Bellegarde. Giving away on the pass, though. That could just be Cruz's phenomenal interception or the lack of passing that he has. I mean, it's decent stats and the vision's good, but... I mean, yeah, never mind. It was Cruz's incredible interception. What was that? Outside the foot, the power on it, boys. 
Accuracy. What about Troll right there? That's, we're, yeah, we're pinging prime Pirlo passes here. We've got a little press on from our opponent here. Interception. And there, you see? The pace. He's lightning fast. With an anchor chem, maybe if you do it, give him a shadow, boys. Which I wouldn't recommend because, you know, you need that kind of strength and, uh, uh, strength and aggression boost. Had to go for the long-range effort. But he's, he's, lightly, he's lightning quick, mate. Lively old boy in the middle of the park. So at half-time, we are dominant in the middle of the pitch. Bellegarde is basically pulling strings, pinging passes, carrying the ball, scoring goals, doing it basically everything for my team as it stands. And he's doing it in style. Genuinely impressed by the card so far. I expected big things looking at the stats, and that kind of play is my kind of ideal CDM. Uh, but he's he's outperforming how, how good I thought he was going to be. So hopefully we can keep going. Like he's sitting people down left, right, and centre, lads. Damn it. To all Di Natale again. The man, you just can't give him any space in the box. As soon as he gets a little glimpse, he's smashing it in the back of the net. And it's game on, boys. Now, boys, we don't want to be throwing away a two-goal lead against this man. And I know he's capable. He's pretty good on the ball. We need to take our chances going forward. I would love a cheeky Bellegarde double. It's a nice interception for the man. Adama. Overlap, Rubri. Go on. There we go. Perfectly timed ball. I don't know who's leaped there. I think it's Tamori. He's just managed to flick that on. Adama. Little give and go. It's Freddy. He's gone. Adama Troy has pace now. Get in behind, big boy. Payet in the middle. Payet in the middle. Let's go. What a ball for Freddie Lundberg. Unbelievable. I'm loving that little dynamic of Freddie playing as a box-to-box -box center mid. Payet and Adama at front. Great little duo. Let's keep it going. Yes, Bruno. Big Bruno G in the building. Bellegarde could bring it out now. Oh, a little press is coming on for my opponent. Bellegarde. Oh, I just wanted to play it into Freddie instead. I think he tried latching onto Bruno, making the run in behind. And unfortunately, that's not what we wanted to do. And now my opponent's on the counter. Teo. Big man Teo with the pace. Watch the ball back to Asensio. Go on then. Big save from Popey boy. I need that upgrade, by the way. Where's his plus two EA? Adama has the pace now. Carver hole, no chance. No chance of getting anywhere near the big man. Oh, it's just so easy for the card, lad. He's ridiculous. Just get running with him. No one's going to stop him. No, they just have to take him out. That's the only way you're going to take him in. Uh, take him in, take him out. 4-2 lead as it stands. Let's mix it up a little bit and bring on a cheeky bit of Morientes up top. But so far, Bellegarde, everything he's doing is fantastic. There are a few things that we'll talk about in regards to the potential weaknesses. Uh, basically, the skill moves in the weak foot. And that's about it as it stands, lads, because I'm loving the card. Yeah, big interception. Keep pushing. Look how quick he is the jockey with boys. Freddy a little bit slur, slack in there, but two great interceptions from our man Bellegarde. Unfortunate to come away with the ball. So a big 4-2 win in the end. Even though the constant press that has made me a little bit squeaky bone time towards the end there, uh, we clutch up and do our job. Bellegarde, where to start with this card? Let me quickly see uh, what his price is on Footbin. And let's see what the reception of the community are saying about our boy. Because I loved him. I thought he was a quality, quality player. I've been using Gwendozi there, and I feel like He's a valuable replacement. Okay, it's a bit, you know, positives, a few negatives in there, man. Um, I think because there's a lot of uh, Serie A cards coming out, but I think it's a fantastic price. Really, really solid out-and-out -out CDM. Work rates could be better in regards to medium-high, potentially. But I feel like medium-medium is good because going forward, like, his pace is noticeable. He can burst into space and he can score goals, as you would have seen early doors in that gameplay. Freestyle, freestyle obviously is an issue. I would probably prefer the weak foot over the skill moves with this kind of card. At least four star would have been nice. Just see a bit more reassurance in the passing department. If there was one weakness for this card, probably is the passing. Uh, it might let you down occasionally. Little anchor chem style did bits in regards to strength and aggression. We felt strong. He was hard to push off the ball as well. Low center gravity. He's not the tallest player. Gets in front of a big lad. It's hard to kind of win the ball off him. Defensively, he was good. Just a really enjoyable card. For the price, I think there's so many positives, boys. And he gets the massive funds up for me. Do let me know what you think of Jean Rickner Balagard. Is he going to get into your team? Are you replacing maybe Gwendozi for him like I did? Gwendozi, I cashed in for 197k. I wonder if those cards are going to fluctuate in price because of him. Anyway, I'll be more C. Let me know who you get for new icon player. I think if you open it, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you very soon.